Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. I am Preeti, working as Oracle Fusion Functional Consultant. So in our last video, we have discussed the setups related to project contract functional area. Now in today's video, we will discuss about the tasks that are related to the project building base functional area. So these are the tasks that you have to configure for the project building purpose. We have to create the event types, then we have to create the billing cycles, then we have to create the, the invoice methods, revenue methods, invoice formats, and then we have to do the configurations that are related to auto accounting rule. Let's start with the event types. So in the event type, it determines whether a billing event is used to invoice a customer. With that event type, you want to recognize the revenue or you want to use it for the both that is invoice a customer and recognize the revenue. Fourth is derive accounting in subledger accounting for event based invoice and revenue entries. Now in the application, we will see how to create the event type. Go to setup and maintenance. In the setup area, select project financial management. These are the functional areas. Now here we have to select it as a project billing base. You can see the task here. Now we have to create the event type first. So for that, click on this manage event type task. These are the already created event types. For creating the new event type, you have to click on this create icon. Now here, give the name of this event type. I will use this event type for manual billing. Give the description here. Now we have already discussed how to create the revenue category and here you have to associate the revenue category with your event type. This is a mandatory uh, field. Now you have to select the revenue category here. So I'm taking it as fees earned. Now, whether you want to use this event type for revenue purpose or for the invoice purpose, by default, this invoice checkbox is enabled. So I want to use this event type for the invoice purpose as well as for the revenue purpose. You have to enable this checkbox if you want to recognize the revenue with this event type. Allow adjustment. If you enable the checkbox, then you will be able to do the adjustment. If you are creating any invoice with this event type where you want to allow that event type to make any adjustment, then you have to enable this checkbox. Now migration. If you want to use this event type for the migration purpose, then enable this checkbox. And once the migration is done, then you can disable this checkbox. If while creating the invoice, you are using this event type and you want to allow to use the item information, then you have to enable this checkbox. Now here it is asking for prompt date, then you have to give the effective start date here. Right now, the system is taking today's date as default. Let me change it to the 1st June and scroll down here you can give the text information when you are creating the invoice or revenue using this event type then system will calculate the text that you are providing in the text classification code here you can give the business unit name and also the text classification code then the system will calculate the text according to the rates that you are mentioning here so in this way, we will create the event type. Now click on save and close. 
moving back to the PPT. The next task is manage billing cycle. In the billing cycle task, it will determine the frequency and dates for invoicing contract and contract lines. Define billing cycle to meet your business requirements and you have to assign these business cycle to the business bill plan. Now we will move to our application to see how to create the billing cycle. In the task work area, you can see the manage billing cycle task. Click on it. Now here you can define how you want to manage your billing cycle, whether you want your billing cycle to be monthly, weekly, quarterly. These are the already created billing cycle. For creating the new billing cycle, you have to click on this add icon. Now, I have given the name as PPM monthly billing cycle. Now, whether you want to do the billing twice a month, then you can select this first option. Say, if you want to create the billing cycle on the first day of the month, then you can select this option. In this way, you have a variety of options. You can select it here as per your own business requirement. Uh, let's take it as last day of the month and here you have to give the effective date. Let's create one more. Now here, when you are taking it as weekly billing cycle, you have to select the day of the week on which you want your billing cycle to run. Uh, now let's take it as Monday, that is the first day of the week. Click on OK. It is taking as second day of the week. Monday is the second day in the week, so it is taking the value as 2. Now click on save and close. In this way, you can create your billing cycle. Now click on all task. How you will get to know that your project is the billable project or not? Then at the time of creation of project type and work type, you have to enable the checkboxes that are related to a billable indicator. Now Go to the task that is manage project type. Click on this add icon. When you are creating the project type, you have to enable that project type for the billing purpose. You can see here the checkbox that is enable billing. You have to enable this checkbox. Then your project type will be considered as billable project type. And while creating the project template, you have to assign this project type to the template. Now you have to assign the work type to your project. That work type should also be the billable. Now move to the next task that is manage work type billing indicator. You can see here when you will create the work type, you have to enable this checkbox. Then only system will know that the work type that you are associating with your project is billable. So 
so these are the tasks that we have discussed today in next video we will discuss rest of the tasks related to this project billing base area thank you so much for watching the video